Assalamualaikum, my dear students. How are you? I think you are fine. By the grace of Almighty Allah, with your family and your friends, you are most welcome in. the rajagutra model college and congratulations that you had got chance in rajagutra model college this is my first lecture of statistics with you i have discussed already in your online zoom classes this is not new for you today i shall discuss the chapter 1 introduction of statistics variable and concept of different symbols so first of all i will discuss the word statistics is originated from the latin word from the latin word status okay now i would look i would like to give you some share screen okay so different scientist expressed different concept about statistics but it is said that the word statistics is transferred from of the latin word status italian word statista german word statis tick and friends word statistic you should clearly spell the word okay you should make sure that the your spelling is correct because this one is written by the other countries okay and all this word is meaning is similar that is all these work mean meaning is similar say in our country we can we say the in ma my mother and in english they told mother those the object is same same thing but different language in different word it is expressed so here also these word are meaning are same political status or numerical information collection presentation interpretation these topics actually the meaning of this word now in how many senses the word statistics is uses the word statistics is used in two different senses such as singular and plural in singular sense it refers to statistical method of collection presentation analysis an interpretation of data and in plural sense it denotes some numerical data obtained from the field of human activity okay so it is used in both in singular sense and plural sense 
in singular sense, it refers to method of collection, analysis, interpretation of data, and process it the numerical data. Okay. Sir Ronald Elmer Fisher or R. F. Fisher, he is renowned statistician R. F. Fisher. He is the father of statistics. He is the father of statistics, R. F. Fisher. This is very important for you. In MCQ, it may be said. You know the Bengali word statistics is Parishon Khan. This Parishon Khan is generated from statistics by the Indish Indian statistician P. C. Mahalanobis. P. C. Mahalanobis called Parishon Khan from the word statistics. That is Bengali meaning of statistics is Parishon Khan is named by the Indian statistician P. C. Mahalanobis. That is Prashanta Kumar Mahalanobis. Bangladeshi statistician Gulam Mustafa first started the statistics department in Dhaka University. Now, our second slide. Definition of statistics according to singular sense. According to Croxton and Cowden, the, he is also a very renowned statistician. Statistics may be defined as the collection, presentation, and interpretation of numerical data. That is statistics hello. Statistics is data collection. And then the present the data and interpretation of the numerical data. According to him, statistics is the collection, presentation, and interpretation of numerical data. According to W.I. King, statistics is the science of decision making in the field of uncertainty. According to PC Mahalanobis, statistics is an applied science which can solve the problem. It is an applied science which can solve the problem. These, there are so many statistician define statistics as a singular sense. Here only three is given. Okay, you can in your book or in your library, there are so many statistician who define the statistics as a singular sense, but it is mentioned only three here. And these three person is very important, their definition also important. Now, according to the plural sense, <coughs> statistics define also here also in plural sense also, many, many statistician define statistics as a plural sense. Here some, some definition of important statistician are given here. According to Bowley, according to Bowley, statistics are numerical statement of fact in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other. According to Horace Christ, by statistics, we mean aggregate of fact affected to a marx extend by multiplicity of causes numerically expressed, enumerated, or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other. This is very important definition. This is a complete definition. From this definition, we can get the idea of the characteristics of statistics also. This is very 
clear and complete definition. If only one mark is given for your question, you will better to write this definition. Okay, this is very important. If one mark is allocated in your question, then you will better to answer this definition. By statistics, we mean aggregate of fact, that is collection of fact, collection of numerical data from a fact, affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes. It should be affected or multiplicity of causes or related or so many things. Numerically expressed, it should be numerically expressed, not that he is a good boy. This is not a statistics. Uh, the, he is the tallest boy in the class. This is not a statistics. It should be expressed numerically, not only numerical, enumerated or estimated according to the reasonable standard of accuracy and collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose. Okay, purpose should be clear, mentioned, and field should be mentioned, okay? <clears throat> and collection of data procedure and other procedures should be maintained uh, a standard rate of accuracy. That is standard formula should be followed and placed in relation to each other. Their fact should be related. Data should be related to each other. Not that your height is uh, related to your father incomes, not like this. The definition of a secret, that is Horace secret is quite comprehensive and exhaustive. It throws more light on the characteristics of statistics that I've told earlier you, and covers different aspect as well as we adopt this definition quite safely. So from the above description, we can say that statistics is the collection, organization, presentation, classification and interpretation of numerical data. So what is statistics? Statistics is the collection of the data, organization of the data, presentation of the data, classification of the data and interpretation of numerical data. Okay, all these things, all these things are called statistics into all together. Now our thoughts uh, our fourth slide, meaning of statistics. What is the meaning of statistics? We can define statistics into distinct meaning, like firstly, by statistics, we often mean a set of numerical values of any field of inquiry. It provides an aggregate of data on any subject of interest. Example, say, collection of height of the students of a class. Secondly, it means the scientific method or statistical method or statistics is the science of collecting simplicity or simplifying, presenting and describe, describing data as well as making valid conclusion based on the analysis of the data. Thirdly, by statistics, we mean a set of numerical characteristics calculated from a sample. They want like sample mean, sample variance, okay? So these three point are the, these three way we can define, we can uh, describe statistics, these three meanings we can describe statistics with three meanings. Now, characteristics of statistics. All the characteristics is mentioned in the definition of statistics uh, given by A. C. Christ, who has given the definition of statistics in Paulson's. 
qualitative statistics by the definition of different statistician, especially Professor S. Christ, we can find the following characteristics of statistics in broad sense. Statistics are numerically expressed. It should be numerically expressed, not the qualitative data. It should be quantitative. Like in statistics, all available informations are expressed in quantitative terms. That is expressed in number. Qualitative variable is not a statistics. If it, it is not expressed in number, it is not a statistics. If I can say that Rohim is a good boy, it is not a statistics. But if I say that the average income of, uh, of the employee of this company is 3,000, then it is a statistics. Okay, the average marks of this class is 90%. This is statistics. It is not statistics that the, the uh, 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 marks of this boy is very high. Marks of the class, uh, marks of the students of this class is very high. This is not statistics. Now the second point, statistics must be aggregated of fact. Single and isolated figure are not statistics. The simple reason is that such figures are unrelated and cannot be compared. For example, the death of an important person is not a statistics, but the average death of each month of a town is statistics. Okay, that is, it must be aggregate of effect, not a single figure, only single figure. Uh, my age is 50, it is not the statistics. It is not the statistics. But if I say that the average age of the people of the sector six is 37, then this is a statistics. Okay, because except the sum of the total information we cannot compare with one another. In a single figure, we cannot compare one another. So it is not a statistics. It must be, statistics must be comparable. Third one, uh, statistics are affected by a multiplicity of causes. It should be affected by multiplicity of causes. It should be dependent with each other. In all field of inquiry, the observed data are the result of large number of factors, each of which contributes the final figure. For example, production of rice is affected by rainfall, quality of soil, seeds, manner, method of cultivation, etc. Production of a company is related to the management, machinery, things, uh, modern machineries, uh, modern technology, and the worker efficiency of workers, raw materials, I like this. So, so many things are related to the production of a company. Okay, now statistics may be related of some field of inquiry. It should be related, it is, it is already discussed. Exactness cannot be guaranteed. Sorry, sorry, number five, statistics are collected in a systematic manner. Data should be collected in a systematic manner or a standard formula or standard procedure should be maintained when the data is collected. Statistics are collected for a predetermined purpose. Your purpose should be decided previously or early. You, your purpose should be decided. Otherwise you cannot collect the data. You cannot decide the frame. You cannot decide the field and you cannot uh, allocate it. Your, you cannot allocate your uh, money also. Statistics should be placed in relation to each other. It is already discussed. Exactness cannot be guaranteed. Exactness result cannot be guaranteed. Okay, it is always 
the approximation. Statistics are estimated according to the reasonable standard of accuracy. It should be a uh, reasonable standard of accuracy should be maintained. Okay. So thank you very much. Good luck everybody. The, that's all. That's all in this class. I have discussed the origin of statistics, the meaning of statistics, and the singular definition in case of singular sense, in case of rural sense, and some characteristics of statistics. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll done.